Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill from Susan's in the Garden. This is the next in my series of videos about growing your own plants from seed. Now today is an exciting day because I am going to transplant my artichoke and pepper seedlings into larger containers. You know, I live in the north in Washington state and we could potentially have frosts as late as the middle of May. Well, that's six weeks from now. So obviously these little guys need more room for their roots to grow. And that's why I'm putting them into larger containers. Since I'm transplanting vegetable seedlings, I like to use an organic potting soil. Avoid using garden soil which compacts easily and can contain pathogens. Use clean pots that have drainage holes. Since we eat a lot of yogurt, we recycle the containers and add holes to the bottoms. This pot size works really well for artichokes and tomatoes. The most important thing I want you to remember is to handle your seedlings very carefully. They're really just little babies, so we want to take good care of them. You never want to grab them by the stem because that's kind of like somebody grabbing you or me by the throat. It's going to crush the cells in their stems, possibly kill the plant, or at the very least make it very hard for the plant to move water and nutrients up and down. So use something like a screwdriver to carefully lift out the plant out of its little cell to move it into a new pot. Okay, so here's one of my seedlings and I've already put some potting soil into the pot. I'm going to gently put it in there and support it while I'm sprinkling some of the potting soil around the edge of the plant. Once I have it all the way around the plant, I'm going to press it in carefully around the seedling because you don't want any air pockets around the roots. That is not a good thing. And what you should end up with is having the potting soil about an inch down from the top. That way when you're watering, if you have the soil too high, what's going to happen is the water's going to come over the top of the pot and that's not good. And there it is. Each time you get your seedlings transplanted, make sure you water them in. That's going to do two things. One is it's obviously going to hydrate the plant, but the other thing is it's going to move the soil down around the roots, which is very important. It gets rid of any last air pockets. Until it's warm enough to transplant your seedlings out in the garden, place your pots in a sunny location indoors where they can easily be watered. Remember to fertilize the seedlings every 10 days to two weeks using a half strength water-soluble fertilizer that is preferably organic. Happy gardening!